different because it's literally pre-local LMBM time. Time yeah. to get the grind. We have a hundred something applicants today. And here's two of our best, Silvio and Carpo. Carpo going to Krom rather than the Roy um, over on PS2. Yeah, interesting to see Carpo up for the Krom here. Maybe it's just like a hero thing. Maybe he's just feeling it today. But I mean, these two players definitely re reputable. I'd say Carflow is probably the favorite here, obviously having really good results. And Absolutely. Silvio, I mean, look at this. Carflow already using the Kromda's advantage, using the Space Sword to get better pressure against Hero. Absolutely. And like you were saying, Krom kind of, you know, uh, at least Carflow showing why Krom might be a little bit of a better matchup for him specifically against Silvio's Hero. As reputative, like last time these two fought, uh, Silvio did take the W over uh, Carflow's Roy. As well. so, but that Ooh. double, that double Asada Rod Affair is definitely going to be taking the first stock quite uh, convincingly so in Silvio's favor. Yeah, and Silvio already here getting another 50% off of these buffs from Hero. And I mean, Carflow, I mean, he looks really good. Okay, this back air will catch Silvio just under the ledge, though. I mean, this is a lightning hot set with two lightning hot players. It's so kind of refreshing to watch. It's so nice. I mean, I'm seeing Hero again. I'm so happy. I love you, Hero. So here we go. We have Southern Rod active, but we also have Kafriz completely charged up. We have a blinking scary Hero here. Carfo knows to be really careful uh, being too close to Hero because that Kafriz is going to eat up your percentage. Right here would be literally death. Yeah, um, Carflo is like, he's noticeably slowed down as soon as he sees the Kerfriz active, but Silvio almost using that to his advantage, taking more stage control for free. The existence of the charge shot here, Carflo going into the corner though, not quite getting the sledge trap going, and Silvio just happy to play out of the corner. Absolutely, and Silvio is wisely using the, using the ability to tech out just slightly away from where Krom usually, where actually where Roy would typically be able to get that side B, but Krom yeah. isn't. So here we go, Silvio still holding on to that Kafriz, like looking for a down throw into Kafriz, uh, conversion or some B reverse action that I'm waiting for. Yeah, let's see here. Accelerado online again. This makes it so hard for Krom. Look at this edge guard. Beautiful. Krom with limited recovery options and Silvio just punishing, and now we have the Christmas lights active. This could be dangerous, and Carflow going for these tech chases, knows he needs to start something. Nice Jer, though, and I mean, let's see how Silvio gets back to the ledge. We just went with the Kaswoosh, and Carflow almost getting eaten by the uh, 12 hits of Kaswoosh down there, but then they come at the stage and making sure that he's gaining some solid center stage control, but is unable to close up the stock even yet. So they're active down throw into the fair. We're waiting for that recovery option from Krom, and Carflow comes back to free. Yeah, Silvio's reversals have been really good. Like his awareness of like when Krom has a true trouble. Nice Kafriz and that reverse Kafriz, yep. doesn't quite take the stock here, but I mean Okay, this forward air is gonna take the stock and <laughs> Yeah. It's rare to see a player as like fast and lightning hot and aggressive as Carflow just sort of stuffed out there by a character like Hero no less, who like definitely doesn't have the best startup on frame data to match, but Silvio's awareness of the matchup was just really strong. I mean, yeah, so you guys have play has a has a place like Lily mid tier one of one of the, the most mid tier character to ever mid tier like no exactly Hero, Hero's air speech is not really it and even then uh, with that loss Carpo is still opting to stay Krom onto our next battle on battlefield and immediately coming in with the thirty five percent given for free from Kaboom ah oh, only counting. Yeah, I'm interested that Carflow actually stayed Krom here. I mean, maybe with Battlefield, he wants another place to land, or maybe he just wants more pressure on the top platform. Already looking a lot better here at the start for Carflow, though. I percent's looking pretty even, and this jab is so good against Hero. Look at that. 76, Carflow taking the lead back. Oh my, look at all the vertical range that jab has for uh, for Krom is so good. And there we go, catching the, vert the verticality of the Kaswoosh with the back here, and that's going to be taking that first game from uh, that first stock for Carflow. And Silvio is suddenly not looking as uh, as ready as we were seeing in Game 1. Yeah, and I mean, you can already see Carflow now. He's actually utilizing some of Krom's better spaced pressure. And that forward smash, not quite going to take it, but still, Carflow's adaptations in between games, like, he seems way more sure of when to swing and where to be. And, I mean, Silvio just struggling to keep up. This Accelerado is going to help him raise the tempo, though. Absolutely. I think I think what uh, Silvio is definitely going to want to be able to do with these platforms available to him is use those platforms in order to camp a little bit, quote, quote, camp out and, pay and wait out a lot of Krom's options and use that opportunity to gather more buffs from menu, that being Oom, Psych Up, and Accelerado. For Jack is to, to hit the recovery, and we absolutely hit it, but it's not me taking it. But that down smash absolutely will. The back hit, even so. Yeah, really, I love the, the way Silvio in that sequence. First, he picked the Kaswoosh at the ledge to cover many options, and then he opted for the down smash in case Carflow crossed him up on the landing. And now, um, Silvio with these buffs could start to make a big comeback here. 
Absolutely. And again, we have a first completely charged up in the back of Sergio's pocket, trying to get that fair on shield, but Carflow patiently weighing it out and going over to it where he does best. It's just edge guard taking Sergio to the one edge of the stage and all the way to the other side. A little bit too early on that back air, though, for the recovery. Yeah, I was excellent. I, yeah, I was about to talk about how the Saika could be a big deal, but Carflow shutting it down before can even get anything started, and mm -hmm. now he's about to take this lead back with this Chrom combo. Actually, maybe not. Drops the combo, but still has corner pressure here. And these space down tilts and these space jabs and tilts in the corner are doing Carflow such dividends. And look at this advantage state. Opting yeah. to go off the platform for this juggle and already a dominant lead here from Carflow. But, you yeah, know, there we go. Using the down to interrupt the recovery from, uh, from Carflow. But again, Silvio's a whole soft deficit, and there's that upbeat um, and vulnerability keeping Silvio away from Prom the way that Vero is trying to get in, trying to, you know, use that good frizz to his best ability, but Carflo's not letting it happen. Yeah, Carflo trying to land on the top flop. Silvio misses a B reverse, it looked like, and that could be a crucial mistake. That good frizz is such a big tempo controller and game changer. And now Sylvia looking a little desperate, swinging. Carflo with the parry, gets a tech chase. Doesn't get the back air, though. Maybe too much rage or maybe just a misinput. Sylvia with another lease on mm -hmm. life. Absolutely, but a little lease it is. And the, yeah, that's definitely going to take it. Zapple being such a long-lasting move compared to its its uh, previous one, Zap. I think for Zapple, a little bit too many times in that matchup because you know that Krom wants to be close to you as much as possible. And using Zapple takes too long. And Krom can so react to it whenever he wants. So... Definitely has to see if he can start using little, just more Zap rather than Zapple. Yeah, I think... It's a small change, but... No, for sure. It's, it's, it, it'll help, I think. Yeah, I think Sylvia was definitely caught off guard a little bit by the changes that Carflow brought to the table. But let's see if he can bring some of his own to this Game 3. Yeah, Game 3, what are we going on next? I think we're going... Yeah, I definitely see the appeal of going over to Smashville instead. Uh, they don't really want to go to TNC because both players definitely know that matchup very well. Both players pretty much favor that stage yeah. um, for, the, for their own personal bias. At least going to Smashville, Hero has that middle platform in order to get, make up a little bit of a house and gets excellent um, conversions from Wush out of shield. Yeah, I also think that... Uh, Silvio might be opting for a smaller stage here, so that way, like, all of his hits are automatically putting Carflow in the corner. There's been a lot of reversals from both players, and Carflow was very good at landing out of juggle situations in the last game, so I think Silvio might be opting for the more, like, polarizing nature of Smashville here. He also has the Kafriz already charged up. Oh, but the Chrom <gasps> no! Uppy! Oh my god. Spiking Silvio into the Blast Zone, and... Carflow suddenly with such a big lead. That was so unfortunate because Sylvia had just stayed ledge for a little bit too long, and that's what happened when you're a little bit dilly dying too far out into the stage like that, and Grom has that, uh, that uppy hitbox like that. It's so evil. And it's unfortunately, really evil. It's so evil, but like I was saying, these Woosh can easily connect into that platform, giving Sylvia at least somewhat of a conversion uh, chance. Not yeah, Sylvia was like engaging with this, like the sword to sword gameplay a lot, but Krom, one of the best sword to sword characters in the game. Off stage he might be weak, but on stage he's one of the best in the game. Oh, Kafriz from oh, ledge though. Sexy. Nuclear option from Silvio to take the stock, and that sort of mix up is what you need to save for game three in these situations. And the sizzle to get the back to the ledge. Really insane mix up. The, the beaver is off stage. Love the really good option. Was able to get Carfo away from him for a little bit. We're going zoom. We're zooming back to the stage. Random chance to. Uh, there's a random percentage where we're gonna land. So yeah. what are we gonna do here? Yes. Another Kafriz is completely charged up. Wow. Oh my God! Three parries from Carfo and these forward airs, but no punish. These down tilts from Silvio. Look, he's hit so many in the recent time, and it's just such a good adaptation. And the Kafir is going to take the stock with the rage. And suddenly, Silvio has the lead back. This pick of Smashville is just an absolute dividend. And these also, the fact that we have Kafir completely charged up and using it in that Venner State, because it does 35% for free, is such a smart option from Silvio in order to just get Carflow off of his back a little bit and make him a little more scared of pushing too close. But excellent tech chase. Missing the tag, getting the easy peasy uh, to, uh, dash tag for that. Yeah, let's see. The Kafriz is once again charged up here. These forward airs from Silvio have been the bane of Carflow's existence. Almost gets a follow up off of the swoosh there. It seems like Carflow, like the routes he was approaching with in game two, just aren't there. This double forward air could start something though with this corner situation. We'll see. All right, Silvio so patiently waiting for Carflow to, of course, try to edge guard him, but getting out of the situation as much as he can. Trying to use Zap again a little bit faster as he saw. Don't. Just being a little bit too far, maybe going for a zoom pull. No, but Kasu should be able to take him, take him back to ledge. He's, he's stuck. He's stuck. A no zoom. That's it. Yeah. Zoom was there. Zoom was at the very last At the option. very end, but not enough time. Mm -hmm. And really good start from Carflow. Not cracking under pressure. I mean, getting hit by Kafriz twice with these adaptations from Silvio with the spacing.
really good stuff from both yeah. players, but Carflow, I mean, defending his seed, showing why, you know, it's really hard to beat him in matchups like this. And the precision on the edge guarding that at the very end. Yeah, and that was evil. <laughs> and honestly, I mean, without that kill, Carflow might not have won the game, right? Yeah, that was a super early kill that Silver was just not... It literally, literally was like... like not even yellow, I think, was super low when that uh, when that OP connected. And then here, you're just taking Hero as far as he can out, and the only thing he can get at that point is Zoom. And Silvio just got the the, dra the bad draw of the card. You can see in the second pull right here, very bottoms, there it is, Zoom. Just teasing him. Yeah, Menacingly. I, it's so hard to react to the Zoom like that, you know? And I mean... Especially when it's that far down? You get, yeah, it oh, yeah. down three times. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, like, if it was the top, I mean... You can, you could, but no one ever does that. Yeah, it's also, I mean, it's just so hard to see. I'm like, you're already falling into the blast zone. Sylvia yeah, might have... I don't do that. <laughs> well, you're different. I'm just different. Sylvia might have just accepted his fate. I think so. Because yeah. once his jump was gone, it was like, damn, I can't even recover high as a no, mix-up. Sure. Like, I had to constantly cover low. And Carflow, as you've seen, is really... really